Now today, finally after two years, we'll be putting our brand new body on our restored frame, and hopefully everything fits perfectly. And if it does, at the end of this video, you guys are gonna know why we're calling it the Ford Bronco Raptor R. And this right here is what you call a Ford Bronco Raptor oh, well. R. We're starting 30 years. No, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. <laughs> Two years ago, we bought this Bronco sight unseen for $6,000. I am on the muscle. And having no prior experience working on a Bronco, we took on this project and tackled everything. Father versus son, let's see what you think. This oh my God, if he beats tire me. Off first. He has youth, I have experience. Cheater! <laughs> we replaced the body. Let's go! We rebuilt the frame. The first time you actually showed it up close. Changed all the mechanical parts. It doesn't do justice on the camera. And we are just a few steps away from finally putting it all together. Now step one is, we gotta get this frame off of the jig, get it lifted up in the air, grab the whole frame we got over there, bring it over here, mount that up, and then a bunch of electronic goodies. How does that sound, James? <laughs> Let's get to work. First, we gotta get the frame onto the lift. Look it, who would have thought you could use an engine body support bar and put it right in the back. Now we gotta figure out for the front. I think what we're gonna have to do for this side, guys, we're gonna go with the original idea of the eye hooks, just at least for the back for right here. Like James just said, we're gonna lower that down to just try to give us, you know, that extra, you know, you guys know we're, I'm very, very tall, so I need as much headroom as possible. You know what I'm saying? That's right, man, I'm a giant. <laughs> now, if you didn't get the joke, I'm only 5'8". But we are serious about getting the body as high as possible. And the reason for that is because when we bring the frame in, we need to make sure that the engine that's already on the frame can clear the body. All right, moment of truth, Bo. You ready? How's it looking? Oh yeah, that, that needs some weight in the rear. Drop that down. We have to figure out a way to have that rear still in place. It's so heavy, it's not liking it. And we also need some more eyeballs. Well, that's why I bought, I bought Oh, we only use two. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> plan for failure. <laughs> Same two, these two right here, and then we'll run straps from that back to here. Okay, and kind of like keep it winched forward on it. Yeah. Okay. Now it's always good to have extra parts so you can make less trips. And because we were being creative with straps and eye hooks, or some of you could call it cheap, I was feeling a little luxurious to spend the four extra dollars to buy two more eye hooks. And I'm kind of glad I did because well, we were gonna need them. Everything's secured and looking good. We finally have this thing cleared. Now, the next big step that we have to take is to bring the frame from over there and get it under here. Now, the good news is there's no front tire, so we should be able to try to squeeze the whole front end right under here and not have to worry about it hitting that. That's the plan. Um, Wish me luck. That's pretty much, there's nothing really else to add to it. All right, time to fire up the forklift. Oh wait, you got a flashlight? Please be charged. Yes! <laughs> All right, one more thing to do tonight, boys and girls. Get that frame inside, get it under the body, and mount it up and fingers crossed. Everything will all work out. That's the plan. Oh. As long as we don't run out of gas. I think James is running out of gas, honestly. Dude, I am definitely confident that that is going to fit underneath the frame. You agree? What the hell was that? You trying to salsa dance? <laughs> we finally made it to this step. It's been literally two years since the frame and body have been put together and we are so close to doing it. Now we still have two more things that we have to do. One is drag the body across the way and thanks to good old Betty, that's not a problem at all. But the other problem that we're gonna be facing is whether or not the frame and engine are going to fit underneath the body that's hanging on the lift. Now I personally believe that it's going to fit, but Mr. James didn't wanna say anything negative and just kept quiet to watch it happen. Now you're gonna spoil it. Easy. <laughs> uh, let me see that 
Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, bro. What? Guys, we're gonna have some dinner, so we'll be back after this commercial break. How are we looking? Yeah, that. Yeah, we gotta come forward. You wanna? You want? Let's bring. Do that now. Yeah, now that we got wheels. Yep. You see how easy it is? That looks freaking close. You might have to take that uh, vacuum canister off the back of the manifold. Either way, we're not gonna need any of that where we're going anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Remember before it wasn't having any clearances? Oh, dude, we got all the clearance. All I can say is, wow. Finally, after working all day, we made it to this point and we wanted to finish the day strong with bringing the body down onto the frame. Now, I gotta admit, it wasn't easy, and Mr. James even called it a night after we finally let the body down, but I just couldn't let it go and not get it right. Buenas noches. Yeah, long night. We're not quite done yet, so I don't wanna show you guys until we finish up and get the body mounted up tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed everything falls into place tomorrow. I think you guys are gonna like this, because I'm loving it. This is looking sick. Now, I don't know exactly how these mounts work, I didn't read the instructions. I just laid it right on top. So for any of you guys that are like, oh, that's wrong, it's okay. I just wanted to see if all the bolt holes lined up, which they all do, which is the good thing. I, that was all I was worried about. So, you know, now it's at least figuring out body line gaps and putting on door panels and everything. But we'll deal with that after just because I want to try to see if we can figure out everything with the mechanical side because I got a little surprised, but let me just show you all the back too. Look at this. <laughs> That's freaking perfect. Now I do have something that I want to talk with you guys about and it's the engine. Now, a lot of you guys when I ask you, should we turbo it? Should we supercharge it? There is something that we're working on. I'm not going to reveal that yet because we have to first make sure that the transmission and the engine mounts are good. Now we do, we are running some engine mounts on this right now, but we are going to get rid of those because of what we got going on. I'm trying not to say too much without giving anything away, but Right here, y'all can see, we have to figure out the transmission mount of where this all sits. And then after we get this bolted up, then we'll be able to figure out for our engine mounts or our new engine mounts that we're gonna be running. And then from there, that's where we got a big old surprise that Mr. James brought. But first we gotta run to the store and meet him there. Well, I don't even think he's seen the body yet. No, he hasn't even seen the body. So he'll see it right along with you guys. You won't be able to see what he thinks. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, we're gonna have to turn back around. Now I was on my way to Home Depot, but you know, after seeing James, you know I had to turn around and grab him up real quick. She's looking really good right now. All right, now say hi to the folks. Hands forward, yeah. <laughs> yep, so last night I kept working for a little bit longer because my OCD was getting the best of me. I'm sure. And um, yeah, the, the frame is looking really good right now. Can't wait to show you here, but have you ever driven a Durango before? All they do is recline. They, not they do all that stuff. Yeah, make it go forward. I know how to make it go back. Yeah, see? It's not that fast, well. Not bad. Is it faster than the all wheel drive? Oh yeah. Yeah. Smoke that. <laughs> all right, you ready? Oh, don't look, don't look yet. Don't look. And you looking, don't look, man. I just told you don't look. And you look. What am I seeing? Are you ready? Pack, America's favorite since 1965. Come here, check this out, man. You mad about that? Yeah, I ain't mad about that. What do you what do you think, man? I know it still needs a little bit more alignment, but tell me that ain't looking good. Yeah, it looks great. Man, that's all it, man. See, this is what happens when you deal with older folk, people, man. Older folk, man, they don't know how to give no type of enthusiasm, yeah, man. Their own sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, look at the mounts. Look, look at how freaking mint that lines up. We have to figure out for the motor mounts, which are the transmission mounts, which is the one thing that we're gonna do right now. But overall, guys, it's looking really good. But one thing that did stick out, you see how this right here has like a little gap? Well, I know that we can obviously tighten it down. Yeah. But what's funny is that same gap, because look at this side, it sits flush. And same thing with over here, you see how it sits flush? This side sits flush. But then look at the jig, look at this jig, check this out. If you look at the jig, you see how that's leaned back? Yeah. And then the other ones are all straight. Yeah. 
You know what? I'll take it. It's not a loss. All the body mount locations are all lined up, which is a really, really big deal. Now, yeah, we're gonna be raising it a bunch of times because there's a few things we gotta do. James has a custom power steering mount bracket with the pump setup, everything. And we're gonna try to see if we can get it to fit with this setup because if it does work, aesthetically a lot better. That's the word, aesthetically a lot better. $5 version of day. Yeah, it is. So it's gonna look aesthetically a lot better and he will be having, a, what, how many you got, 100 of those? 100 of those that particular style already made. Yeah, he already has 100 of them made. So I'm hoping with the right mount, trans mount and engine mount combination, we could use that pump and have it fit perfectly for here and we won't have to change anything else on the front end, which would be dope. The only thing we're gonna change on the front end is the one thing that all of you guys, or at least half of you guys, mentioned in the last video, which is our super truck. Do we just show it now or do we? <laughs> I can blur it out. I'm saying like, stay quiet. I kinda wanna mock it up. You are, you see, that's what's up. I've been thinking about this since last night. So that's what we did. When you're excited like a kid, you change all your plans up, and instead of going and trying to build up the mounts for the power steering pump, we decided to just figure out how we could turn our Coyote Swap Bronco into a supercharged Coyote Swap Bronco. Man, dude, I wonder how that thing is gonna look in here. <laughs> it's gonna look right, Bo. Guys, he's nodding his head right now. Yeah, we baby. need a camera person to get him. It is going to be, oh, it's gonna be one of those moments. It's gonna be like the, the all wood drive when we stepped back and looked at it. I, you remember that? Oh man, I remember that. Look at that there. That right there is what you call an all wheel drive Hellcat. Hey. And this right here is what you call a Ford Bronco Raptor all wheel, R. All wheel drive Bronco. Ready, <laughs> one, two. Damn it, boy. We're not gonna be able to do that with the supercharger. I'm just letting y'all. Well, Supercharger? What's a supercharger? What's a supercharger? Let's go show them what a supercharger is. You want to bring the truck closer? Because there's no way in hell we're going to carry that. Um, we got to take this off? Yeah. Do you have the tool to do those? Do what? Those push locks. Yeah, my fingers. Yikes. Really? Yeah, work on them. Work? <laughs> really? <laughs> Done told you now. <laughs> Damn, you know what this is? No. It's more power. This is supercharger. Okay. <laughs> just, get back, just, just catch the whole shot. It's going to fit. You're just gonna have to make a modification. I am so sorry. <laughs> man, you just built up, man. Let's drop it. We can't drop it in? If we could, it'd be in. <laughs> wow, what is it? We're gonna have to make it. I will show you when we pick it back up. We gotta pick, can we just leave it here for the thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huh? What you talking about, man? You ever heard of Photoshop? <laughs> What's wrong? What's the modification we gotta do? I can't show you until we get this out of the way. <sighs> Yeah, victory was short-lived, guys. Our supercharger is out of a Gen 1 engine, and unfortunately, our engine's a Gen 2. But we could still make it work. It's just gonna take a little bit of finessing if we want to get it to all fit in place. All right, so we're gonna have to do this modification, and we're not gonna want to end this video on a modification note. We want to get this thing in here so you guys can really see it all in place. So give us about two minutes well, for the video purpose, <laughs> give us two minutes to just get this cleaned up, modified, and then we'll be able to sit this puppy on there 100%. And... Two minutes for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. Now, for those of you wondering what exactly we're doing, we have to take the Gen 2 heads and make them match the Gen 1. And in order to do that, we had to shave off about three eighths of an inch on each side of the head in order for the body of the supercharger to fall through. And that rod right there we call it the supercharger mount. <laughs> and before we do that, we had to first clean everything to make sure that we get this thing covered because you cannot have any of the metal shavings getting into the engine. Because if you do, well, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what happens with metal shavings in an engine. 
There's no turning back now, guys. We have it completely cut. Didn't want to go too far up just because there's no need to go into all of this because it looks like from that port, if you really look at it, we have, or we should have all the room in the world. Yeah, that should fit. The Gen 1 head mod, that actually looks really good. Look at that. Let's take off this one. Looks even to me. All right, you ready? Presto. <laughs> Let's freak, look at the view of that. <laughs> Mic drop for sure. <laughs> Dude, what? I wonder if this would fit with the hood. Well, if, well, if we raise it though, we're gonna, well, when we do the motor mounts. The sides of the hood go up before they come, go over, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. And, and this is below this. Yeah, and that's true. Goes, now the motor's not raised up yet because we don't have any motor mounts on it, but. Jeez, man, let's go. <laughs> now that's an official Bronco Raptor R. We've had a long couple days. We got to keep working here. We still got to do the motor mounts. We got to get the trans cross member. And then we're going to be jumping on the body. But for that, I think it's a, yeah, it's a wrap. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what y'all think. Again, thank y'all for watching and stay tuned because, yeah, this just took a really, really good turn. James, anything else? See y'all in the next one. Peace. Take it all in, guys. <laughs> all the dust and everything. <laughs>